We got you now. I'm on. You're on. Harry Mack, man, it's good to be here, dude. Hey, it's good to have you, man, in the Wu Tang shirt as well. Yes, I, I, you know, you you remind me of the genius. I'm a big Jizza fan, so I tried to support my Wu Tang for you right there, bro. I am a huge Jizza fan as well. Liquid Swords, classic record, man. Uh, Unbelievable. Yes, shout out to the genius. How you feeling, man? Very good. You just reminded me that the first time I ever heard anything from Wu Tang was Supreme Clientele by by Ghostface, and that that. That album changed my whole perspective on shit, Harry. Like it made Hell me, yes. it made me love hip hop. Like to to my core, I love it. Yes, bro. Supreme clientele. That is the one with Nutmeg on it as the first joint, right? That, that's right. That's right. It has like that that comic book narrator throughout the whole album. Yeah, dude. That is such a classic record, and that song Nutmeg is so fucking fire. I, uh, I know. when I first heard that, because like the way he's rapping on it, it was like it's so abstract, and I was like, yo, what is he talking about? You know, yeah. like the whole time yeah. I heard it, I was like, what could this possibly be? And I know that the woo is so deep with like their own slang and stuff. They'll like create their That's own right. language. And so That's I always right. wondered, I was like, dude, this is like dripping in so much slang that it could never possibly be decoded. I wonder if it really means anything. And just about a year ago, I was listening to an interview. It was with uh, you know, No Jumper, Adam22 and, and, and Ghostface. And, and he was like, what's up with Nutmeg? And he was like, yo, man, yeah. we were in Africa and I wanted to do a joint where it was like, I'm not even saying shit. Like, I'm not even rapping about anything and just have it sound so juicy and flavorful. Just have yeah. it sound dope, even though I'm not really saying anything. And I was like, boom, there you have yeah. it. Right. It really is just so, that abstract. So sick. It, it, just, a just a bunch of nothingness. It's, it's like what I call like one, one of the words for you that we'll get to. Yeah. One thing I wanted to talk about that I really admire about you, hmm. like being an MC and a reactor and a musician, your lyrical fitness, like what you're doing right now, you're working out, you're fucking exercising, which I really appreciate. And it seems like nutmeg was almost a form of lyrical f fitness for Ghostface to right. endure. So he, just practicing his craft seeing what he's capable of being abstract and kind of different than, than yes. the norm, which I really appreciate. And, and I really, I really like watching you, man, because it, it, it feels like my mind is exercising when I listen to you. Oh, thank like you. You, ex bro. you expand my consciousness, man, like big time. It's awesome. Dude, I love that, man. I love that. I appreciate it. And coming from someone with the name uh, Conscience, you know, that really uh, means even that much more. Appreciate it. Right. You know, I, I, I love the, the mental health awareness. I'm a reactor on YouTube, so I... I I got requested for like what I do is I use my community page yep. to get requests for people for my for my subs to request songs for me to react to. Go. And a few of my subs, like Just Sherman 4, uh, Jerry, a whole bunch of guys in the chat, they 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 started hit me up. They're like, man, you gotta listen to Harry Mack, you gotta listen to Harry Mack. And wow. as soon as I did, as soon as I did, I fell down the vacuous black hole of Harry Mack. Oh, and I just man. became obsessed with it. And I and I started doing a bunch of reactions. And one of one of my reactions to you turns out to be my most viewed video. So no I'm like, way. okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta learn about this guy in in, in a, a very very short amount of time. Yeah. So I went live and streamed for like five hours. I've done it two nights in a row. Um, me and Just Sherman Four, he's my chat moderator. Okay. And on Mondays, what he does is makes me a playlist. Yeah. And I stream you, I stream you live and hang it with the whole community. And I met so many good people. And you are infectious because the people that are drawn to you, your fans that have now become my fans. They are, they are such positive, awesome people, and it just makes the world a better place, man. Dude. So that, I, I'm, I, I'm gung-ho. I'm gung-ho. I'm hitting the applause button on that, baby. I, I love that so much, man. I, I really uh, feel blessed to have such a positive, dope community here on the internet. Uh, it sounds like you yourself have a very uh, supportive and positive community as well. And so it's just dope that our, our people can combine. And yeah. uh, I love it, man. I love it. I love no, the way it's, that it's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic, man. Every, every single person that you have in your community is just so, they're, they're so welcoming and so, and so mental health positive and just so yes. like, yeah, not, not, they don't argue. There's no bullshit. It's just all positive. Let's do this for hip hop. Like I made my YouTube channel because I grew up listening to punk rock, right. like predominantly. Okay. Like I was into like a lot of San Francisco punk rock, like no effects and lag wagon and descendants and propaganda and all those wicked punk rock bands. Yeah. And I, I started my YouTube channel to literally learn about hip hop. Like I love hip hop. I rap a little bit. I've had a song with cannabis. I've interacted with Kay Reno. I've done songs with Kay Reno. I, I'm oh. a big fan of like lyrical consciousness rap. Yeah. I've been very blessed. I've been very blessed to, to work with some wicked MCs. Yeah. And and then I'm like, I, I, I have all this experience. 
Right. And I know nothing. I know nothing about the genre. So let's make a YouTube channel where all I do is learn about hip hop. So now I learned about you through my because of my YouTube channel. I found out about the Harry Mack. Dude, that's fire, man. I love to yeah. hear that. I love to hear that. Your journey sounds incredible. Uh, cannabis is obviously uh, one of my favorites uh, and, and a rapper's rapper. Without have, you heard the new, uh, have you heard the new Horseman album, The Last Ride? I haven't. I haven't peeped it. Dude, you got to get it. Raskas kills it. Krupp kills it. Kill a oh. Priest is an animal. Cannabis, it, it's unbelievable. I got my, uh, my foil collector's edition in the mail. Hell yes, bro. I got to peep it. Shout out to Razkaz too, man. Real, real yes. uh, West Coast lyricist, bro. Yeah. That's right. Raz That's one right. of my favorites, man. I got to see him. I, I saw Mob Deep and... Um, you know, uh, uh, Raz came out like during one of the joints they were doing or so. Oh no, it was Killer Priest actually opened up and he brought Raz yeah. Kaz out. And I remember Raz Kaz came out with like the, the bottle of Grey Goose, just like, oh my God, <laughs> like, partying. Just like on stage between the mic and the Grey Goose, but then just spitting the most precise lyrical shit ever. I was like, how the fuck is he Unbelievable. doing Unbelievable. Um, and Kill Killer Priest is so wicked too. Like I saw him in Guelph, Ontario about 10 years ago. Okay. And it was just a little, a little venue with like 40 or 50 people in it. Yeah. And Killer Priest gets on stage. He's sees me in the front like rapping all his lyrics with him and i'm just like i love killer priest yeah and then after the show they had a little cypher and they brought me up on stage and i got to rap for killer priest mathematics uh actually gave me gave me some advice after my season i was holding the mic too close to my face oh, okay so it was a little he said i killed it and killer priest said i killed it and it was just like the most magnificent moment now this being on this show with you yes it definitely definitely rivals the greatest moment in hip hop for me. Oh. That that time on stage was with, with Killer Priest was one of them. And now this on the show with you, with everybody watching, this is another one. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Well look, I'm honored that you would say that. And on that note, let's make some history right now, man. What's yes, the plan? Yes, I, I'm prepared. I'm a poet. I'm a published poet from uh, from Canada, BC Amazing. on the West Coast as well. Okay. So I wanted to come up, I wanted to like uh, a soliloquy, the, the act of uh, na self narration without the knowledge of anybody listening. Yeah. Because yes. I, I and then so, so soliloquy was perfect, and then I wanted to wanted to throw in nomenclature, yes. the the act of, of of naming molecules, and then I want to talk about lyrical fitness. Okay, and and your rhymes are so satisfying that I wanted to throw an effervescent in there as well. Effervescent, soliloquy, nomenclature, lyrical fitness, and effervescent. Okay, okay, okay. Soliloquy, nomenclature, um, and tell I'm sorry. Tell me again what nomenclature is all about. It is the of naming chemical molecules a oh, process is, of naming molecules that is so dope that is so dope okay uh soliloquy nomenclature uh remind me i'm sorry i'm forgetting Lyric, lyrical fitness lyrical, lyrical fitness. fitness and the last one effervescent effervescent which Re means re refreshing refreshing uh satisfying yes yes effervescent refreshing those rhyme already we're in good shape uh my friends conscience is here we are very excited to have him here dope reactor mc and published Poet, uh, let's make this happen. You ready? Yeah, man, born ready. All right, let's go. Hold up, hold up. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, yeah. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Come on, check it out, check it out, check it out. Come on, hey. We go inside your conscience, uh, yeah, go inside your conscience, uh, hey, yo, we about to keep this honest, check it out, check it out, check it out, uh, I hope they feeling me, nobody is ill as me, speaking by myself in the room, this my soliloquy, I just open up live from the spirit, I'm speaking for myself, ain't nobody gonna hear it, yeah, that's how I act every time I kick a rap, I'm in my own world and my brain goes black, yeah, I can't even really feel my body, I be transcending right now, it's godly, I'm up there in the clouds i'm just speaking my voice say yo i'm not overthinking how i'm making my choice say yo i'm not worried about somebody who might judge it yeah i don't care if somebody loves it i'm speaking on the subjects that are meaningful for me i'm getting free with the lyrical soliloquy yeah i'm coming yeah. off the top i do it in the rage dropping my soliloquy while i'm up on the stage got the spotlight on me i'm getting caught in the moment while i'm speaking on my inner thoughts yeah i gotta get it out soliloquy's eternal it's kind of like i'm speaking a verbal journal yeah, I'm getting all my thoughts out there in the open uh, The soliloquy is so thought-provoking I'm going deep inside of my mind Yeah, looking for that deep-down energy I'm trying to find Listen, and they be loving it when I'm out here spitting the phrase It's like soliloquies that's written in plays I said we only let the real in here There ain't no fakes here Hey, yo, we with the real poets Word to Shakespeare I'm all up in it and y'all know that I be flowing so clear Conscious looking like Shakespeare Growing the beard H-Mac, I'm coming through with the new slang Yeah, we connecting over class 
classic by Wu Tang. Uh, I said that I mean this. Hey, yo, y'all know that my grass is the greenest. I'm moving like the genius, the jizzer. Y'all know we paint a picture, we spit it raw. Hey, yo, I'm slicing through the track like liquid swords. Uh, I'm on the flow adventure. Y'all can't name this here. No nomenclature. H Mac, I'm off the top. I'm coming with the strong sound. Nomenclature like I was naming chemical compounds. H Mac, y'all know that I be spitting rhymes. They got you bugging out like when chemicals combine. Yeah, hey, yo, I'm speaking my soul. I'm never selling it. I'm breaking down the compounds to the raw elements. Check the way I'm snapping. When I'm rapping, I be spazzing. Yo, we break apart the chemicals. We down there at the atoms. The nucleus, we truly doing this. Yeah, I'm about to show you what a real true school rap student is. Yeah, I told you my influence will grow. And people pay attention each and every time we flow. Yeah, this is a mic. This here is a lyric. This here is my heart. And this here is my spirit. This here is my brain. And this here is my vibe. This here is a camera by Sony. This is alive. This platform here is Switch. This video is Discord. That's the nomenclature of my universe. So get absorbed. It's Harry Mac. I'm breaking down the whole vocab dictionary. When I spit this scary, yo, this kid named Harry is a visionary. Y'all better pay attention. I got the illest lyrics that the people want to mention. Uh, so better witness. What you see in here is lyrical fitness. Yeah, y'all know we about to kick rhymes and work it out from the mind. This lyrical fitness is allowing me to shine. Yeah, and y'all know I be flexing live. I got you feeling like your brain doing exercise. Uh, hey yo, this the opposite of blowing kush up. This is thinking deep. It's like your brain's doing push ups. Yeah, and y'all know when I'm rhyming, I be swole up while doing mental pull ups. Your conscience had to show up. Like Mac, I be here in the Wu Tang T. Uh, right now they partying and listening to me. Uh, I be representing live, rapping with them rap crews. Beautiful colors, they kinda like your tattoos. Hey yo, that one on your arm is going really hard. I love that animal there. I do gorilla bars. H Mac, I call it out and let you see it. Uh, when it comes to lyrics, I know I'm the freest. I'm doing this forever and they feel in my essence. I said I'm shiny and I'm refreshing, so peep the effervescence. Let's go. Uh, I keep spitting till my final breath of living. I'm effervescing, I know it now from your definition. Thanks for providing that. Yo, I'm about to go mad. Big love to conscious for teaching me the vocab. Hey, yo, when we get started, won't let the fun stop. You move spam from hip hop to punk rock. It's H Mac, man. Y'all know we got the levitation. You on your channel doing hip hop education, learning about the culture and learning about the music. You got collabs with cannabis, my man. Let's do this. And every time I'm on it, got my people feeling better. After this stream, I'm going to peep the new cannabis record. Let's go. Oh, yeah, man. That was insane. <laughs> that was totally insane. I can't believe I was a part of that. I got goosebumps. My skin is fucking crawling right now. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, thank you, no, 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 no one. I just want to I just want to give a big shout out to like I was a big fan of Big L growing up. Hell yeah. I almost get emotional even thinking about it because you bring the days of the mid nineties with me listening to Big L. Yes. You bring that right back to the focus for me. Oh, like you were doing you were doing it, man. You were doing it as good, if not better, than some of the best freestylers I've ever heard in my entire life. Man. And then, dude, like there's you. what you were do what you were doing. Like, along with Horsemen, like Ross Guys, Killer Priest, Corrupt Candles, along with these guys are doing, yes. with lyrical consciousness stuff, like, what you are doing is so important for hip-hop right now. Thank you, bro. Like, you, you, you are a huge part of, of what is saving hip-hop, and I, I, I dearly thank you for that. Man, I dearly thank you for taking the time out to be here on the show, man, and for being a fan and doing the reactions and, and uh, helping us build and expand our communities both, man. We, 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 we all benefit from that type of uh, uh, love and generosity. So thank you for hopping on here, man. Uh, we'll thank you, man. Can, can, I, can I leave you with a poem? Yeah, come on, man. Do My book, yeah. Brain Trauma and Drugs, it's on Amazon, 800 pages of rhymes. I got, I got another 800-page book on Amazon and a 400-page book on Amazon. I'm going to leave you one. I picked a couple out. This one's called Falling Man. As I was falling through the air, I realized I was quite impaired. All I could see were spinning themes of ground and clouds and sky and trees. I thought about who I felt free. Then I got stung by a kill of bees. I fell some more and looked about. It seemed my fall had straightened out. An eagle had a flap with me. I then reached out and touched its wings. After long I owned my flight, I kept on falling into the light. Falling yeah. Man. It's about a man falling. And, you know, that, that's what we're doing when we're listening to you. We're just falling through the atmosphere, man. I love it, man. I love the, the Wu-Tang Killer Bees reference as well. That was fire, man. Cheers, buddy. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you. Conscience, we appreciate you. Take care, my friend. Peace, everybody. Peace. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yes, Cheers. sir.